Wolves Hockey fans, welcome to our playoff edition of the Wolves Hockey Show, the number one rated hockey theme show on Lakes Region Public Access. We had an outstanding week as our junior teams either prepared for the playoffs or, or made some noise in the playoffs. Uh, first off, we're going to start with our EHL team. Our EHL team played a best of three series here in Laconia versus the Vermont Lumberjacks, and we won our first ever EHL playoff series. Uh, we lost game one. By a score of six to three, and then we had a great effort the following day, winning in two to one in overtime on a Nick Bosch goal in game two, and that set up a dramatic game three played on Saturday night here in Laconia, and we won that on home ice three to one to advance to the next round. We got some great clips we're going to show you of that playoff series coming up right now. So here's the first goal of the series scored by the Wolves. That's Alex Larrasee getting a puck to the net in game one. Uh, he was deflected off a defenseman and went into the back of the net. The Wolves lost this game 6-3, to three, but it was a great start for Alex Larrasee, who was one of the heroes in this, uh, this first round of the playoffs. After tying it on a Jack Ennis goal in game two, the Wolves went to overtime. Here, four-on-four four action. Nick Bosch wins the puck, gets it cross-ice to Pavel Swoboda, who shoots, and he tucks in the rebound. Nick Bosch wins the game in overtime, 2-1, to one, and Wolves even the series in game two. Now Saturday night in front of a nice crowd here on home ice, Alex Larrasee gets the puck, hits Kevin Johnston, boom, back of the net, 2-1. to one, Wolves take the lead in game three. And here's the icing on the cake. Early in the third period, Eddie Grigoriev gets a puck to the net. Alex Larrasee again goes to work, makes a nice move on the defenseman, Cuts out of the corner, finds space in front of the net, and tucks it in 5 all. This would make the score 3-1, to one, and Wolves would win the series. Great job, EHL Wolves. And here's some sights and sounds in a memorable first-round matchup. Wolves had home ice advantage and put it to good use. Dangler Sports had a table in the lobby. Mayor Andrew Hosmer held, held a ceremonial puck drop. And the Wolves, in front of a great home crowd, recorded the series win. Thank you to all the fans for coming out and supporting our team as we march on to the North Division Finals. MVP of the series goes to Liam Kilgallen. So it was a great series for our EHL team. A ton of confidence coming out of the, that series. We'll have info coming up later in the show on their next round matchup. The week off, though, was taken advantage by the EHLP team. They focused on practicing, on preparing for their first round matchup, which starts this upcoming Thursday. Schedule for the EHLP playoff series looks like this. We have a game down in Hooksit on Thursday versus the Avalanche. Back home in Laconia around noontime for a playoff matchup on Friday. And then the deciding game, game three, if necessary, will be played on Sunday back down in Hooksit. Some of the guys who have been playing really well for that team include Owen Guerin, Jake Williams in net, Peyton Bashan on D, Nick Potenza also on D, and up front, Nate Legrette and RJ Sember. So we're looking for some big things out of the EHLP playoff team in this first round matchup. Now, coming up, we have a player interview with Frankie Williamson. He's one of the stars of that first round matchup versus the Vermont Lumberjacks. He's a two-year member of the program and he's recently made a college commitment. So we're going to bring Frankie on right now. All right, hockey fans, especially the ones back down in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, we have Frankie Williamson on with us, a two-year member of the Wolves, number 21 for those fans at home. Frankie, welcome to the Wolves Hockey Show. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. Great. Now, you uh, give me your background in hockey. You've uh, been with us for two years, and you know you're at Wyoming Seminary prior to that. Tell me your upbringing. Yeah, so uh, back down, in, uh, like I said, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, I started uh, with the Capital City Vipers, uh, which is a double-A program. Uh, I was there for three years, and I went down to York, Pennsylvania with the York Devils uh, for another three years. And then uh, uh, played in uh, the Junior Chowder Cup after the in the summer, uh, where I was found by uh, the coach for Wyoming Seminary. Uh, finished out high school there for two years. Um, and then that's how uh, Coach Coons found me. Uh, we were playing a preseason tournament up here at the St. Paul School, and um, ever since then, it's been uh, here with the Wolves. Great. 
Um, now you've been with us for two years. Uh, you've experienced a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of memorable games here in this building. And you recently made a college commitment. Why don't you tell me about that? Yeah, so uh, I committed to Central Michigan University. Uh, it's a Division II ACHA program. Um, coming out just about done with like a rebuild process, talking with the coach. Uh, great coach, great guy. Um, really wants the best for that program, wants to expand the program. And uh, I feel uh, definitely have um, a lot of things that I can bring to help expand that program and help it succeed. I couldn't agree more. I think uh, Coach Boyle's done a really nice job in an early start to that program. He's getting that really, uh, you know, getting it right off the, off the ground floor. And uh, you're seeing some pretty positive things out of that program. So I think you're going to add a lot to that culture and be part of that, like you said, that, that building process. Now, you've done that for two years here as a member of the Wolves EHL team. Last year's playoff series, we lost to Vermont in a really kind of heartbreaking fashion in two games. And then this past weekend, we beat them uh, here on home ice in the best of three series. Why don't you tell me about uh, what you experienced that weekend and what players learned from last year's series? Yeah, you know, I think uh, the first game, uh, we came out pretty well. Um, I think we let our emotions get the best of us and we got away from our game. Um, which I think also what happened in the two games last year is how our season ended kind of earlier than we wanted to. Um, but we regrouped. We knew we were better than them, and uh, we came out game two and three and came out all cylinders and, in my opinion, outplayed them for pretty much the whole game. And, um, you know, the, uh, the results came in our favor. And uh, it was a lot. It was a good win for uh, the guys, especially from last year. And, uh, we're ready to move on and play the Avalanche here. Yeah, I, was, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I think that the guys, uh, when you look at our five-on-five five play against them, it's not that close. Uh, they score the majority of their goals either on either on set face-off play or uh, on uh, special team situations. And at five-on-five, five, we were the better team. And we had to stay five-on-five five instead of getting caught up in all that kind of nonsense that goes on sometimes Absolutely. with that, that team. So, uh, preview the playoffs for us in the upcoming. Next round, we're playing the Avalanche. Uh, we will get to those dates later in the show, but uh, what do we see, have to see at our, at our team versus the Avalanche? Uh, I think the same thing we've been doing, especially in games two and three against uh, Vermont there. Just keep keep our cool, keep our composure. Um, like at Vermont, we know we're the, the better team, um, so we just got to stick to our game plan, and I think we'll do just fine. We've played them before in the regular season, especially here at home. We've dominated them, so just got to keep going just like that. Couldn't agree more. Now, Frankie, you, know, you made this college commitment. You're getting close to the uh, you're the end of your junior hockey career. What do you see in your future, either academically, uh, you know, socially, athletically, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, you know, um, I uh, intend to go to Central Michigan for uh, sports management and um, most likely a minor in coaching. Um, so I think uh, getting that uh academically is um i think there's a lot of opportunity there uh, i think central michigan is also a great place not just for the hockey but academically as well um and uh for, for the athletic side i think uh you know like i said earlier it's just to help grow and and help that program succeed i think uh you know he, he said we're right there uh, in the next two or three years i think we can make a good run uh, in the postseason there so uh, that's what i'm looking forward to Absolutely. Well, you know, it's been, it's been a pleasure, Frankie, for two years here. And you've seen uh, really a huge strides in your game. Uh, you've become a much more well-rounded player. I think you're ready for college. And uh, let's not have an end of this series. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm ready. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right, anything to say to the folks at home? Uh, shout out to my parents. Uh, thank you for always supporting me. Uh, also, another shout out to uh, Matt Doyle. Used to be the former uh, hockey director at York's moving on to Paul Meyer Black Knight. So uh, he's helped me a lot during the offseason and uh, my time at the York Devils. So a special shout out to him as well. That's awesome. Hockey fans, make sure you tune in to games this upcoming week and look for number 21, Frankie Williamson. So, hockey fans, that was a fun interview with Frankie Williamson. He's a player uh, who's really made a lot of strides in the program. He came in his first year, he was in and out of the lineup, uh, had a really nice playoff run. He, last year's playoff series then came back for his age out year he's getting that college commitment which he really really was looking forward to and he's an integral part of the playoffs of the playoff team both in the locker room and on the ice so make sure you check out frankie williamson number 21 and we're going to hear some big things down the road for frankie 
Also, some big things for the program is our EHO awards were handed out last Tuesday, and we had some great, great awards and great feedback for our team. Julius Vandal, our captain, number 47, was chosen as EHL Defenseman of the Year. Congratulations, Julius. He had a 30-point season and uh, really led the charge for this team the whole way. All division honors for the North Division go to Declan House and Liam Kilgallen. They were chosen as first team all North Division, and they've uh, really set the pace uh, on their specific positions. Second team all division was Richard Jelenskis. He was our leading scorer on a 40 point campaign. Over his junior hockey career here in Laconia, he scored 170 points at the EHLP and EHL levels, including 90 points just at the EHL level. So congratulations, uh, Richards. Those are our award winners individually for our EHL team. We will have EHLP awards, but that will be in a future show. One program award that was really special for our program was the Community Service Award. The EHL chose us uh, to be the honorary recipients of the Community Service Award. This was based upon not only the JBT game, but also, also the stuff we did with our food drive for the Salvation Army, our food drive for the New Hampshire Humane Society, our holiday toy drive, and then our other local events which impacted the Lakes Region community. Thank you, EHL. Thank you, host families. Thank you, players and parents, for contributing to such a great cause and making such an impact in the Lakes Region community. We do have tryouts coming up. Uh, this is a fun time of the year where we're also playing games, but then kids got to compete for a roster spot at the youth level. So we're going to have trials starting this Wednesday. It'll be uh, two hours of ice for our 07s, 06s, 05s, and 04 birth years. You can register right on the Wolves website. It's only $10 to register to be seen by the Wolves junior coaching staff and give yourself an opportunity to make a roster for the 22-23 season. We're really looking forward to the rosters we have shaping up. Coach Garen's going to be coaching our U16 team. It's a lot of the same components that won the New Hampshire State Championship at the U14 level last year. So we should be really, really strong at the U16 level. Coach Latrell is going to be coaching our U18 full season team. Uh, we have some really exciting players that he's been recruiting and looking forward to the composition of that roster. And then Coach Mike Potenza, one of the excellent coaches at the high school level. Uh, he's going to be returning to coach our split season U18 team. That's comprised of a lot of players who are also playing on their high school rosters. That team made the Tier 3 state finals this past season. And we're looking for them for similar results with a composition of good players here locally. Uh, Coach Potenza does a great job of putting them together, giving them structure, giving them skill development, and then uh, competing at the uh, Tier 3 level. So good luck, guys. Uh, make sure, you know, keep checking out our social media. Uh, we've been posting videos, updates all the time. So you can go to Facebook, you can go to Instagram, you can go to Twitter and check us out because we got a lot of stuff coming up over the next couple weeks as we march on to the Frozen Finals. A nice, exciting announcement. Our EHL team will play in the second round versus the New Hampshire Avalanche. That'll be a local in-state rival, as Frankie mentioned. Uh, we've split with them basically all year, close contested games. The last few weeks, though, we've come out on top, and we're excited about the opportunity to face them in a playoff series. Game one will be played Thursday down at Hooksett. Uh, that'll be an afternoon matchup um, for game one. Game two, coming back to Laconia. It'll be a 3.30 game on Friday, uh, the, the 18th. So fans locally, come on out to the game, wear your Wolves gear, wear red, and uh, we'll be excited to have a good home ice crowd, home ice advantage support the team on Friday. Game three, if necessary, we played Sunday down at Hooksett. You can catch all these games on Hockey TV. So make sure you're Wearing your wolf stuff, rooting for the wolves, checking us out on social media. And if you can make a game, we'd love to have you here in the building. Thanks so far, fans, for a great year. We've had a lot of opportunities to represent this community. And hopefully we put together the best effort in doing so. We are excited about these playoff runs. We have our EHLP team this week and our EHL team later in the week. So make sure you tune in, check, check them out, and root for those guys. Thanks again, folks. Any more information you're looking for on the Wolves, go check out our website, www.ne-wolveshockey.com.